learning never exhausts the mind. It had long since come to my attention that people of accomplishment rarely sat back and let things happen to them. They went out and happened to things. Art is never finished, only abandoned. Painting is poetry that is seen rather than felt, and poetry is a painting that is felt rather than seen. The greatest deception men suffer is from their own opinions. The painter has the universe in his mind and hands. Poor is the pupil who does not surpass his master. Where the spirit does not work with the hand, there is no art. There are three classes of people, those who see, those who see when they are shown, those who do not see. As a well-spent day brings happy sleep, so a life well-spent brings happy death. Study the science of art. Study the art of science. Develop your senses, especially learn how to see. Realize that everything connects to everything else. I have been impressed with the urgency of doing this. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do it. A painter should begin every canvas with a wash of black because all things in nature are dark except when exposed to light. It is better to imitate ancient than modern work. While I thought that I was learning how to live, I have been learning how to die. Time stays long enough for anyone who will use it. Nature is the source of all true knowledge. She has her own logic, her own laws. She has no effect without cause nor invention without necessity. Why does the eye see a thing more clearly in dreams than the imagination when awake? I have offended God and mankind because my work didn't reach the quality it should have. For, verily, great love springs from great knowledge of the beloved object, and if you little know it, you will be able to love it only a little or not at all. A beautiful body perishes, but a work of art dies not. The noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding. The human foot is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Iron rusts from disuse, water loses its purity from stagnation, even so does inaction sap the vigor of the mind. He who loves practice without theory is like the sailor who boards a ship without a rudder and compass and never knows where he may be cast. Marriage is like putting your hand into a bag of snakes in the hope of pulling out an eel. Learning is the only thing the mind never exhausts, never fears, and never regrets. Just as food is eaten without appetite is a tedious nourishment, so does studying without zeal damage the memory by not assimilating what it absorbs. In rivers, the water that you touch is the last of what has passed and the first of that which comes, so with present time. Blinding ignorance does mislead us. Oh! Wretched mortals, open your eyes. Anyone who conducts an argument by appealing to authority is not using his intelligence, he is just using his memory. Knowledge of the past and of the places of the earth is the ornament and food of the mind of man. Experience never errs, 
It is only your judgments that err by promising themselves effects such as are not caused by your experiments. Common sense is that which judges the things given to it by other senses. Men of lofty genius when they are doing the least work are most active.